Well, every time I hear this piece, it's a little bit of a celebration. A procession to covenant is called that because it was a procession to a covenant, to which you're probably thinking, duh. <laughs> but it really was that. It was the music written for our wedding. And uh, hard to believe, but this January 3rd, my wife and I will celebrate our 19th wedding anniversary. 19 years since the premiere of this piece. <laughs> and my father got to walk the bride down the aisle. And at the rehearsal, it was not going very well. He was going too fast. And he got there too soon. I go, Dad, Dad, you got to take your time. But then, the actual day of the wedding, the next morning, he took his time. <laughs> He's just enjoying all the people and going down, walking my bride down, and I'm trying to look very composed as the groom, but knowing every note of music, I'm going, get down here. <laughs> but you know, perfect timing. He landed right on the button, right where the bride was supposed to be there, right at the final moment, and all was perfect. But this, uh, this procession to covenant is based on the great hymn, O love that will not let me go. I rest my weary soul in thee. And it's a wonderful text of uh, George uh, Matheson and was so appropriate to our occasion. Many of you who know me know that I lost my first wife uh, over three years before this wedding date, who died at the age of 42. And uh, it was a tough time. And I had a friend from uh, the Moody Bro Broadcast Network who came to this, this wedding. And he said, what we saw today was the circle of God's healing. Because the last time we saw you walking in with your family, it was behind a coffin. And today, we celebrate the circle of God's healing. And people who have known both spouses can say with dead accuracy, and they say it to me, I am twice blessed, and I really am. You'll find out more about that tomorrow when Linda shares her testimony and uh, shares the scripture with us. But let's celebrate her wedding once again, okay? Procession to Covenant. 